sharing with you seven habits to help you declutter your home quickly, easily, and efficiently. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am Kanna Campbell. The other weekend over on my personal Instagram account, I shared with you my decluttering challenge. You see, I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed, overstuffed, and actually, to be honest, quite anxious. So I decided I would have a go at decluttering my home. I gave myself a very quick, easy, and achievable challenge of 30 items. I put it up on my Instagram account, sharing with you exactly what I was getting rid of, why and how. And you guys absolutely loved it. Anyway, during this process, I realized seven lessons or insights, which really helped me efficiently get through this process. So I'm going to share these with you right now. And if you're feeling inspired and motivated, this will help make the process so much easier when you next go to declutter, tidy, and just organize your home and life. Tip number one, know in advance what you want to declutter, what cupboards, what drawers. Give yourself a little bit of a cheeky head start by knowing exactly what you're going to start with and so you can hit the ground running. You build momentum, you build progress. So start thinking before you actually start the activity about what you want to target, what areas you know there's stuff that you can quickly and easily declutter so that you hit the ground running. Tip number two is to set a timer. You see, I did this over the weekend and I had to do this whilst I had someone helping me look after Apple and whilst she was sleeping. So why don't you just set a timer for an hour, for 10 minutes, whatever you can afford so that you try and beat the clock. Also, it kind of makes it like a game where you're trying to get as much done as possible. It means you're really focused, you're really efficient, and you power through so much more when you set a timer. Realization or hack number three is try and do this on a regular basis. Don't try and do like one massive, overwhelming, confusing, draining spring clean. Try and do this on a regular basis. Say once a month, you get rid of 30 items so that you're always aware of limiting what comes into your home and keeping that clutter and disorganization at bay. This is something I have really realized I need to apply. Tip number four is to make sure you're aware of what items you don't like using, putting on or touching because they're the items that you've got to go. They're the ones with like a toxic draining energy in your home and in your life. And they're the ones that you could really just target first you'll feel really good the moment you pick them up and decide that's it you're going I'm letting you go to a better healthier happier home be aware of what is stopping you in life and holding you back and making you feel bad about yourself those items can go tip number five is to make sure you are doing the right responsible thing do not go and dump all your items on the side of the street or in the bin you need to let go of them responsibly this includes selling them on the secondhand economy, giving them away to family and friends, and of course, donating to charity. The last thing you would ever do is dump your waste. We do not need any landfill, and it goes completely against the principles and values of decluttering and minimalism. Tip number six is to become your own gatekeeper. That's right. You've got to protect your home. You've got to decide what comes into your home. You've also got to do this consciously because the last thing you want to do is be constantly decluttering. Decluttering only to allow new things into your home. This is where you draw a line in the sand and make a shift. You decide what can come in your home and what stays. And you need to be ruthless. You need to be brutal. You need to be strict and have boundaries. Really make sure you know exactly what's coming into your home and you have consciously allowed it and welcomed it in. And then tip number seven is to make sure you keep going. You see, when you're decluttering, as you would have seen on my Instagram account, there were periods where I hit a wall. I couldn't do any more. It was too confronting or draining or there was emotional triggers. And what I simply did was just stop, go to a different area of my house and work on that. And it was amazing. Just taking a little bit of a break to get perspective again, rebuild my strength, really allowed me to keep going. And from that, I had amazing breakthroughs where I discover a new drawer, a new closet, a new cupboard, another part of the fridge, all these amazing different areas in my life where I didn't realize I had so much clutter and disorganization going on. So be aware of any walls or you know, blocks that you experience, push through them, learn more, because every time you do this, you're gonna become stronger, you're gonna become more insightful, and you're gonna live a life that's just lighter, cleaner, 
and just with so much more tranquility and harmony. All right, everyone, I promise you I will be doing another declutter with me on my Instagram account in a couple of weeks. So make sure you're following me there. And at your request, I have also saved my IG highlights. So you can always go and catch up on any of my decluttering, reorganizing, minimalism madness stories on my personal Instagram account. All right, everyone, ciao for now and good luck decluttering and reorganizing your life. I promise you, you'll never regret it.